When you're navigating your contacts and companies in HubSpot, do you use a list or do you use a view? And what's the difference? We'll talk about that here in this video. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. One of the most important things when you're using HubSpot is knowing where to go to get the information that you're looking for. Now, having done this for a while, I'll tell you the number of people that have gotten lists confused with views when they first start using HubSpot is pretty common. So in this video, we're gonna walk through the difference between the two, and it's actually quite simple, but it really just comes down to a, what are we doing with the information and what part of HubSpot are you going to to find it? So let's dive in. So here we're looking at the contact screen, and this is actually the place I want you to think about when you think about views. Views are going to be a way to filter the information ahead of you and present it in a way that makes it quick and accessible for the types of information or columns that you need. So this right now would be a view, and the view here is actually all contacts. So I can actually change my views by looking at any of the data up here. If I click on all views, it can show views that come standard with HubSpot. So we've got standard views or all view, all contacts, marketing contacts. We've got a different video just about marketing contacts if you wanna take a look at that. My contacts, my uncontacted. So again, these are standard. These are leads or these are views that have been created by me. And then if others on my team created views and shared them with everybody or with me, they're over here and created by others. So again, that's what views are here at the top. And to understand the difference, we're gonna come back to this, but let's actually go look at lists real quick and talk through that so this makes a little bit more sense. So lists are going to be the places where we're actually telling HubSpot, go look at all of these contacts or all these companies over here, and I want you to use this certain criteria to pull them together and essentially put them all in one room. So here we've got some lists that are driven by um, what's called active. We do have a video about active versus static lists if you wanna go into that a little bit further. But basically active lists are dynamic. They're looking at things in HubSpot like properties and they're saying if this contact meets these criteria, they're gonna automatically be on this list. So if you go to that contact and you change that criteria, they automatically come off that list. That's why they're called active lists. Static lists are going to be lists that are created by you saying I want these certain people on this list and you put them on there manually and they can only be removed manually. So that's a static list again, so it sits there unless you touch it. So here, the difference between the list and the views are basically how you're going to use that information. So lists, an application for using lists would be, I wanna pull together anybody who, let's say, has a buying role. So in this case, if I pull open this list, you'll see that the filter is the buying role is known. So if I actually look at how many contacts there are, there's 250. Now, the purpose of this list is I can use this list in an email campaign. I can use this list in an ad campaign. This actually puts everybody in a group so that I can use it for a marketing purpose somewhere else in the system. If I go back to contacts and views where we first started, Views are actually a way to see the information, but I can't actually do anything with that information from the view. So let me show you what I mean when I, when I show you about the list here. So if I go into more filters, I could do the same thing that I just did over in lists, and I could say, I wanna see who anybody who has a buying role, okay? So buying role is, let's say they're either of these two. It's not going to be the same number because it's not the same criteria that we just looked at. But if I click apply filter, I can actually look at this here and I can see people that fit that criteria. Now, if I wanted to save this view and always have this view up, I can actually click save view, save as new. And I'm gonna say buying role is X. I'm gonna share it with just myself. I'll click save. And then now if I go to all views, you can see that that new view that I created is here. So hang with me here because this will make sense in just a minute. So this buying role, I can choose to pin this view. And now every time I come to HubSpot, I log in, I come to the contact screen, this view will be here. So the ways I like to think about views are, let's say you have a view where everybody who's in this view is a hot prospect, you know, and they might actually have a life cycle stage of let's say sales qualified lead. You might wanna see this because you want to have those people top of mind every time you log into your CRM. Now, you can also use your lists to drive your views. So I could actually clear this filter here. I can go into more filters. And if I just wanna search by list, I can say list membership. And remember that list we just talked about, that buying role list? I can apply that and apply the feature here. 
So now you'll see that that list is, a, or this is the same number as on that list because we actually use the list as a filtering criteria to inform our view. So again, lists are going to be the way to pull data together and somewhat categorize it. And then we can use that to filter our views or we can use that to then tell our marketing email communications to say, go to everybody on this list. So again, that's the difference. The difference is lists are going to be used for marketing and pulling together contacts. Views are used for you to see contacts with specific parameters. Now, the last tip here is going to be whatever your columns are here on the top in these views, you don't have to keep them this way, you can change them. So if I wanted to go to edit columns, I can actually choose which columns I want to see on my view. So let's say I wanted to see when they became a lead. I can actually add that. By default, it's added to the very last part of the columns. If I wanted to drag that and put that right after their name, I could click apply. And then once I do that, you'll see that this column here now is right next to the name. If I wanted to change that, I could actually just get it so my hand looks like a big hand in the corner and I click and I drag it over and we've got it right there. So again, list versus views, a little bit confusing at first, but definitely as you move through it, it makes a lot more sense. If you have more questions or for more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to hear about new topics that you want us to cover in future videos, and we will see you next week.